Today, we're revamping the settings for Hogwarts Legacy. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in desktop mode. Now, um, this game is kind of unlike um, any of the games that we have curated, um, at least in recent memory. And what I mean by that is that we have been using cryo utilities um, for uh, a swap file of 16 gigabytes and then swappiness of 25 or one, depending on the game. Now, this game has a verified status. And with the cryo utility settings that we've been using, we've been having issues with performance. The performance has kind of been all over the place. So it got us thinking, what if we set our swap file back to one, um, one gigabyte? And what if we put our swappiness back at 100 the way the system is supposed to be? Um, that is actually what did it for us. And um, we're going to show you that right now. So we're going to come up here to cryo utilities. And I just want to come here first so that I can show you. Um, I'm going to select yes. Okay, I'm going to type my password. Okay, now current size is at one gigabyte, okay? He recommends 16, but in this case, we're going to stick with the just the standard um, one gigabyte, okay? So we're not going to change that, okay? Also, you can see here that we have a swappiness of 100. This is how the deck is set factory, okay? He recommends one, we're gonna go with 100. We're gonna go back to factory settings, okay? So we're not gonna change that, okay? We like to run trim. No, we don't need to run that right now. So I just wanted to show you guys that that is what we are actually running, okay? Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come down here to Dolphin, okay? Now, we want this engine any file to show you how to navigate to this. We're gonna come down, you're gonna select home. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to select these three dots and make sure that show hidden files is selected, okay? Then after that, you're gonna select deck. You're going to select dot steam. Then you're gonna select steam. Then you're gonna come down here, you're gonna hit steam apps. Okay, then you're gonna come up here to compact data. Then you're gonna scroll down. You're gonna select the file that says 990080. That is your Hogwarts legacy file. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna click on the PFX file. We're gonna click on drive C. We're gonna come over here to users. We're gonna double click on users. We're gonna to go to steam user. We're gonna to go to app data. Okay, then we're gonna to go to local. We're gonna to go to Hogwarts legacy. We're gonna to go to saved. We're gonna to go to config, and we're gonna come over here to Windows Note Editor. Once you're in here, you're gonna find and locate the file engine.ini. Okay, you're gonna select that. Now, when you guys open this, you should just see red writing. Down here, you're gonna see this uh, command script, and this is to remove the volumetric fog from the game. This will also be in the body of the post. You can select it from there, or you can select it and email it to yourself like I have done. I just copy and I paste that down here. Once this is down here, you're going to just come up here to save, and you can just close this stuff out, okay? Now, we are ready to go back to gaming mode. Okay, so we were gonna go into gaming mode, but I did wanna show you one other thing. This is super important. So, uh, we are gonna show you guys um, the UMA buffer setting that we have. And we're gonna hold the plus volume button down. And then we're gonna hold the power button down till we hear a noise. Then we're gonna release it really quickly. Okay. Now we are here in the setup utility. We're gonna come down here. Now, as you can see, we're running at 256, okay? We are not at 512, we're not at one, two, or four, we're at running at 256, okay? So we're just gonna save and exit this. Okay, so here we are back in desktop mode, and we're gonna come over here and uh, go to the settings. So we're gonna click on the settings here, we're gonna come down to properties. Now, as you can see, we're not even picking a um, proton. It will select it by default, and I'm pretty sure it's 7.0-6 that it will select. But we're just going to leave it unchecked, okay? We're going to come back in. We're going to launch the game. Okay, so here we are in game. We're going to go ahead and hit A to start. We're going to go through these settings real quick. 
Now, um, you notice we're sitting at windowed. Uh, we are at AMD FSR2. We want to take this um, quality and we want to bring this up. And uh, we're just going to bring it all the way up to one this time. Um, and there's a reason for that. Okay. Uh, we're going to scroll down here. You can see we have VSync off. We have the frame rate uncapped. Uh, we have everything off down here except for film grain. We're going to leave that on um, because we do have shadows at uh, zero. And um, having that uh, film grain on really gives it a uh, nice contrast and uh, deeper colors. So um, we're going to come up here. We're going to go to the actual graphical uh, settings. Now we have everything set to low and this is perfectly okay. Okay, this is the recommended settings for the system. Like I said, we're kind of um, thinking outside the box here with regards to how we had originally set up our games. Um, it got us to thinking like they verified this game. Let's do what they recommended and, and see what this does. Let's set the system back to default settings, um, factory settings um, for the most part, except for that 256 um, for the UMA buffer. Okay, so we have all that stuff set right now and we're gonna go ahead and launch the game. This absolutely blew our minds when we when we did this um, before we were having real troubles with the transfiguration courtyard. We were having troubles in Hogsmeade. Um, we were having troubles when we would enter doors and um, it was just uh, we could never get a locked 30. OK, when we did this, just watch the performance. It may dip a little bit, um, but the performance is it's staggering. It's just it's mind blowing. OK, here we go. Let me move this keyboard out of the way. So before, this was our trouble spot. Now, it's 30. It's a lock 30. Look at that, locked. And the game actually looks marvelous. Like this game, the graphical settings at low, it looks fantastic. And it's it's a lock 30 and uh, it's, just, it's absolutely amazing. Like I said, you may stumble across, you know, a moment where you come through here and it may drop just a tad. Um, but in our testing, that's only happened like once or twice. And uh, we've been playing this game uh, for a while now on these settings before this would drop. We're not dropping. Yep, it went down to 29 right there. Other than that, we're sitting at 30. Okay, we're gonna come out here. I mean, look how good this looks. This looks absolutely amazing. Again, just floored. Come down here. Again, I mean, that's a solid 30. We were just racking our brains at why we couldn't get this game to run properly. And it was just that verified um, status that they gave it was bothering us. It's like, why would they verify this game? And all we had to do was kick the system back to factory, factory settings. And um, it's just profound. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here, we're gonna go to the map. And let's travel to the places that we did in our initial settings. We'll go to Hogwarts map. Come over here to the bell tower wing. And we'll come over here. Okay, so here we are. I mean, look at this. It looks absolutely beautiful. It looks gorgeous. And we're sitting at 30. So let's come in here. Like I said, it may dip a little bit when it's loading in. Um, but it should hold a... Uh, a really close to a solid 30 throughout this whole experience. Now before, when we approached these doors, we had drops. And you may see another drop again, but just briefly. But even at low settings, look at the details. Like it looks amazing. Come in here. It'll drop a little bit, and then we're right back to 30. Now, like I said before, when people are testing their settings, um, they're just testing them outside. 
walking through the woods. And that's not that's not where you wanna test your settings. You wanna test your settings in the trouble areas, where the, the places where you have the most trouble. And if you can get those dialed in to where they look good, then the rest of it is a no brainer. But look at this, this looks gorgeous. I know they did some, uh, um, some little finite touches in the last update, and I definitely noticed it even in these low settings um, that you're able to get a much better uh, graphical fidelity now. We're gonna come down here. Now this is the Courtyard of Transfiguration. This was dropping into the low 20s and uh, 25 FPS uh, over here before. Let's see what it does now. That was my daughter saying she loved me. Okay. Now look at this. It dropped just briefly, but now we're running at 30. Look at that. Blew my mind when I ran through here. Okay, another place you want to go... Okay, so here's another courtyard that I wanted to test. And um, before, um, you know, we did have some minor issues. Um, with our last settings, we, we were able to come through here and we just had minor drops. Okay, now we're gonna come through here again. As you can see, we're looking really, really good. Just a solid 30 throughout the experience. Usually it'll drop right there really briefly. I don't know why that is, but it does. But you're right back to 30. Absolutely amazing. Okay, let's come here to the map. And let's go to the world map this time. And we're gonna go back to the Forbidden Forest like we did before. Okay, here we are outside the Forbidden Forest. Uh, let's go see if we can engage in some combat. And then we'll wrap this video up. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. Here we go. Okay, now I'm, in a, I'm playing kind of an awkward position, so we'll see if I can hold my own here. Days are over. There we go. That was pretty legit. As you can see, I mean, it's running solid. And uh, having the settings this way, it kind of just blows me away. And it makes me really think of what other games could actually benefit from this. Because, um, you know, typically we think we have to set them to, um, you know, those other settings with the UMA buffer cranked up. And, and don't get me wrong, they do actually work for other games. 
Um, matter of fact, some games won't even run um, or launch without setting that UMA buffer to four gigabytes. Um, but this is just, this just blew me away. Uh, the game looks good, it plays good. And um, also, before in our last settings, we were using uh, power tools. And this time, we aren't using power tools at all. There's no power tools. Um, there's nothing um, that we did except for we uh, kicked the swap file back to one gigabyte. We kicked swappiness back to 100. We put the UMA buffer to 256. And um, all the settings recommended low. And uh, it's uh, the last thing that we did was we added that script command um, to remove the volumetric fog from the game. And uh, it just looks gorgeous. It plays good. It actually plays better than it did before. And um, without um, a lot of the other the settings that we had to do. So I know it's kind of a pain to go in and change your UMA buffer. But if you're playing this game, um, for the most part, like this is the only thing you're playing right now. It's not that big of a deal to set those settings and just enjoy this game. Um, just like this, a solid 30 FPS experience. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. So, hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button uh, to be notified. Uh, hit that bell. Um, thank you so much.